Hi there, my name's Emma Selikens. Um, I'm a radio announcer from Australia and I actually specifically moved to New York City to study under Jay Rosen at Studio 20 to learn more about where is the future of audio and what's the direction that we're going in. And I found a lot of the time I'm hitting a brick wall all the time with audio because of the pivot to video. And uh, tonight, I guess, is about the future of audio being publishing and publishing's future being audio. But we haven't discussed things like Amazon's Alexa or things like Google Home. And I'm just really, really interested to hear your take on this, given where you are in the industry. I mean, I'm working between WNYC and ProPublica, and I, I see so much in audio, and I love audio. And I really want to hear what you think about those technologies and where that's heading. Great question. Yeah, really great question. We got consumed. Mm. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, to me, I rely on my Google Home personally for a lot of news consumption and storytelling and music um, throughout my day. I have a young kid at home, so it's really handy for me. And uh, so I'm in conversation with um, the team there and uh, uh, Amazon Alexa team about um, distributing our content through that platform because I just find it to be so, so useful for me personally on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, a couple of companies I would mention that are really interesting just from this kind of innovation on the f audio itself. Um, Spoken Layer is a really interesting company from a news perspective. I don't know whether you've ever talked or worked with them. Um, and then Earplay um, is a really interesting company working on branching audio narratives where you interact with the story and influence the story by talking back to it. Yeah, I mean, I like choose your own adventure. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I completely agree. I mean, I would just, uh, yeah, I mean, Alexa is, and, and the other devices are all very much part of the future of audio. I would only just add that I think that the notion of the campfire that we all keep referring to, my hope and fantasy is that eventually, you know, that experience will duplicate itself in people's homes. And the family sitting around. And that will be the campfire that we sit around and listen to stories. I'm pretty sure. And one interact of, with them. One of my kids' first phrases will be, okay, Google, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I sort of see um, it as parallel to, I've been at the Times long enough that I was there when we were moving from desktop to mobile, and it was this sort of everyone having to come to terms with the fact that that's where the audience was going to be and we needed to think about mobile first and and i i think it's probably going to be comparable where you know we're still making audio for a screen first experience and there are going to be some very different choices when we're making it for a voice first experience um, we were talking earlier about some of the frustrations of the alexa right now i mean it feels like there's just a long way to go for this whole like field of VUI to develop. And, um, and yeah, I think it's just gonna be really interesting and will change things.